Joined alongside by Claude Patrick Cubettos, Daniel Nidger Roberts, this upcoming Saturday, UFC 129, live and only on pay-per-view. Claude, thank you very much for your time. Let's talk about your big fight coming up as you battle Daniel Ninja Roberts. I know it's a fight you're looking forward to, haven't fought since UFC 120. Your thoughts on this huge fight and this mega event here in Toronto? I think it's a great event, man. I'm just looking forward to competing. Uh, originally, I was scheduled to fight somebody else. Got changed to him, so whoever it was going to be, I'd be here and ready to do my thing. Now let's talk about your, the contrast in an opponent. Daniel Ninja Roberts likes to bring the fight, has very good Muay Thai. How do you see yourself stacking up against him? Bringing the fight and having better Muay Thai. How's that? <laughs> Certainly. Well, you're known as a submission wizard. You have nine wins by way of submission. You know, obviously, have, you know, I'm sure you've been working on, on your Muay Thai and things along those lines, but where do you see this fight going? I'm really not picky. You know, I'm not overly a striker or a submission guy or anything of, of the above. Um, I consider myself smart enough to kind of go where the opportunity presents itself. So the guy leaves his neck out there. Guys are like, oh, he likes a guillotine. You leave your head there, I'll choke it. You know, if your chin is there, I'll punch it. So I'm not really picky at all. It's, it's all based on what the guy does. And um, based on his style, I couldn't really tell you. I left a crystal ball at home in terms of the prediction, but uh, it, it'll be a good fight. You have an outstanding professional record and have really been doing, making some waves in the UFC. I believe this is your third fight inside the octagon, but yet you are still an unknown quantity. Tell us about how much you want to go ahead and put on a show with this being your third fight in the UFC. The fans are going to be watching it on Facebook, on the UFC's Facebook page. How important is this to come out here and make a statement in front of 55,000 people in the entire world? My most important statement is against the opponent. And that's with me having my hand raised at the end, you know. <laughs> the fans will jump on the wagon and jump off as they do. Um, I'm not really overly too concerned about that. I think that the qualities that I show in the octagon uh, will shine through eventually. And whether they start to follow me or, or not follow me or whatever it is, it'll be what it is. But the fight is the most important thing. Let's talk about your training camp. I know that you work occasionally with Mark Bocek and, you, and Sean Pearson as well. They are both fighting this upcoming Saturday as well. But how's your training camp been like for this fight? Pretty good. We train together in the city. You know, everybody works together here because um, there's not that many super high-level guys. So we, we've known each other for many years. We train together. And then uh, everybody kind of went their separate ways. Sean went out to Montreal. Mark was in Florida. And I was out in the West End with, like, California and Las Vegas. But um, finished up camp strong and had a really, really good time. Is this kind of a bonding experience for all you guys, knowing that you're fighting in the biggest? I mean, this is basically your hometown, and, you know, this is a huge event for all three of you guys. Nah, this is no male bonding experience. This is a fight, man. You got to go in there. But as, as kind of camaraderie kind of in, well, in that. Well, we've been friends for a long, long time. It's not like we just met. Oh, you're fighting here from Toronto, too. Like, I've known these guys 10-plus years, Mark, you know, even longer than that. So it's not a thing where, you know, we're new to mm -hmm. fighting. We've been all the shows together. Mark's fought in UFC before. I have as well. So I won't say it's not a big deal, but it's not like, okay, now we're friends because we're fighting on the same, uh, the same show. Do you have any idea in terms of how you're going to feel when you're getting ready to walk out in front of 55,000 people? Pretty good. I'm injury-free. I'm getting paid. You know, and I get to display my skills that I've been training you know, for such a long time. I would have also eaten, so I'm off the diet, made my weight. Everything is good. Sounds like a win win situation, Claude. Good luck to you. Oh, this is going Saturday. <laughs> and obviously, what message do you have finally for all the fans that are going to be watching you on Facebook and all those 55,000 of your countrymen here in Toronto? Thanks for the support. And uh, keep following the support. Everybody in this is working really hard. There's no losers in the Octagon, guys. People work hard, and you've got to appreciate what we're doing. Claude Patrick, Daniel Ninja Roberts, this upcoming Saturday, UFC 129, live and only on pay per view in front of 55,000 strong here in Toronto at the Rogers Center.